Welcome to Supervisor Series. In this episode, we'll show you how you can deploy a 3 tier application with VM service and Tanzu Kubernetes Grid on a Supervisor cluster. The database part of the application will be deployed as a virtual machine in the Supervisor namespace using VM service, a functionality that allows you to run and manage virtual machines using Kubernetes APIs. The backend and frontend of the application will be deployed as Kubernetes deployments into a Tanzu Kubernetes Grid cluster. We will pull the backend and frontend images from the private harbor repository that we have deployed in previous episode. The first thing we need to do is to create a new namespace on our supervisor cluster called namespace1. In this namespace, we will assign a storage policy, which defines which data source we want to use. We will select VM classes that can be used in this namespace, for our demo, we'll just select best effort small and assign a content library that contains the VM image that will be used for deployment. Now that our namespace is configured, we can start deploying a database VM using VM service. Here we have a cloud config file where we are defining our users, basic database configuration details, as well as commands that should be run on the VM to configure our database. Next, we need to prepare a YAML manifest for the VM deployment. Here we define the VM name, namespace it should be deployed to, image to be used, the VM class and storage policy as we have configured in the namespace, networking, and a config map. The config map section contains the encoded data from our cloud config file, which will be applied to the VM using cloud in it. We are also deploying a VM service of a type load balancer to expose the VM on required ports. Now let's open a command line and log into the supervisor and set the context to namespace1. We'll use the kubectl apply command to apply the VM manifest we have prepared earlier. Notice the VM will be placed into our supervisor namespace, and we can also see in the inventory that the VM has been deployed, powered on, and configured. In order to allow communication between the database and backend layer, we will take the IP of the VM service, base64 encoded, and we will add this to the backend manifest that we will use later. The next step is to deploy a Tanzu Kubernetes grid cluster that will host our backend and frontend deployments. Here we have a basic manifest for cluster deployment using cluster class, where we define the name, namespace, version, and number of control plane and worker node replicas we wish to deploy. We also have an option to choose from Ubuntu and Photon OS images, so for the purposes of this demo, we'll use both. Once we apply the manifest, we can see the cluster will be created. First, we can see the control plane being powered on and configured, followed by the two worker nodes. Back in our command prompt, we can use kubectl get command to see the status of the TKG cluster. And now that it's ready, we can log into it, set context to our cluster, and apply a basic security policy. Next thing we need to do is to create a namespace within our TKG cluster that will hold our backend and frontend deployments. We will also create a secret to be able to pull images from our private harbor image registry. The backend manifest consists of three parts. First, we are creating a secret that holds the information about database connection, including the encoded IP we added earlier. The next section defines our deployment, including number of replicas, image information, which is pointing to the image stored in our Harbor repository, configuration variables, and the pool secret we created earlier. Lastly, we are defining a load balancer service to expose the backend on port 5000. So let's go ahead and deploy this. And now we are deploying the backend pods into the application namespace on the TKG cluster. Once the backend pods are deployed, we will get the external IP of the backend service. And we can use this to verify that we are getting the right response on port 5000 to validate the communication with database. Now we will take this IP and port, base64 encoded, and add it to the frontend manifest. Again, here we are defining a secret to allow communication with backend, deployment, including the number of replicas and image information, and a load balancer service to expose frontend on port 5000. 
Once we apply the manifest, we can see the front end being created. We will use kubectl get command to check all of our pods are running. And then we can get the front end service. And all that is left to do is to take the external IP, put it in a browser, and connect to our application. Now that our application has loaded, we can go ahead and register a new user. We can also log in with this user and create a new entry that will be written and stored in the database. So this is how you deploy a 3 tier application with VM service and Tanzu Kubernetes Grid on a supervisor cluster. That's it for this episode. We'll see you in the next one very soon.